Good morning everyone and this video is supposed to be posted yesterday however I was not able to because the fan of my Mac is producing a hissing sound maybe because of the temperature but um, for now it's quite fixed I think okay today we will continue the last part of our lesson on the solid um, the ecological solid waste management act of 2000 or RA9003. Now, one of the salient features or provisions of the law is this recycling program. And we know that recycling would really reduce the amount of waste being processed or um, being disposed because instead of um, throwing the waste or garbage, we will be using that. Um, like one example I can think of would be instead of um, throwing away the mil uh, milk tea um, container, we will you will use that as a um, plant um, pot. So it's, you will not be throwing it away, and it will not be processed anymore, which is more harmful to the environment. Now. The DTI is mandated to have this coding system for packaging materials and products, and that would include waste recycling and reuse. So if you notice um, the packaging of the items that we get from the grocery, it ha always has the recycling symbol. And this law also prohibits the non-environmentally acceptable products and even its use, so it's prohibited. So recycling market development. So there should be a market that would de uh, that would encourage recycling. And I even remember back in high school, there is a competition um, in our um, school on recycling. I think that's I, I cannot fully remember the name of the competition, but I remember participating in the recycling category and also the establishment of the MRF in every barangay cluster. Now, one of uh, the uh, prohibited um, activity under this law is the use of open dump sites or dumps for solid waste. So it's no longer allowed. So this law mandates the closure of that um, open dumps. Now, there is a requirement for the environmental compliance certificate in case a new solid waste facility is being opened or operated. Now, the, the criteria for siting, establishing, and operating a sanitary landfill is also established or required in this law and also the MRF in every barangay or cluster or the material recovery facility of the um, for the solid waste now among the penal provisions of this act would be as follows um, the littering of waste in public places this is very common and we know this back in grade school the open burning of solid waste so it's no longer allowed to have a an open f like burning them op uh, in the open and also causing or permitting the collection of non-segregated or unsorted waste. So that's why the policies of LGUs would be no collection if there's um, no segregation. So it's very, very um, um, common. Now, also among the prohibited acts, actually I did not include all the prohibited acts here, the manufacturing, distribution, or use of non-environmentally acceptable materials so there's a list of non-environmentally acceptable materials and that's going to be determined by the proper government agencies now um, also the penal provisions I, I identified a while ago have a a corresponding penalty of course so if you notice in this, this slide you, um, th there will be a fine or an imprisonment and the fine ranges from 300 to what? 500,000 pesos. 
the five uh, like there's even an addition of five percent to ten percent of the net annual income especially for those um who manufacture or distributes or use the non-environmentally acceptable materials now i hope you learned something in this very quick video and hope to continue uh, you will continue um checking and our facebook page and also our youtube channel and our website which is still i can say under construction but it's developing all through um, as time passes by now i thank you for those who subscribe to our youtube channel and liked our facebook page and who visited our lex classroom website thank you thank you and please look forward to the quiz this afternoon thank you the team is preparing it today thank you thank you